Hello all you beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to create this inky pinky makeup look and if you want to know how I achieved this one then keep on watching. I'm starting off with MAC Prep and Prime and then I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I am in absolute love with this foundation. It's so beautiful. It's so satiny, velvety and it gives a beautiful finish stays on for really really long does not crease as much because you know foundations tend to settle in your smile lines and this does not do so so i'm quite happy about this foundation and uh, the key to have a good foundation is to blend and that's what i'm doing it's time to color correct i do not have a fantastic skin so this is what i tend to do to Cancel out all that darkness going on. <laughs> I'm sorry if I scared you guys. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, so moving on, I'm just going to blend the orange corrector and uh, set it down so that it does not mix with my concealer. I cannot tell you how much I love this concealer. I've gone through I think two tubes or more than that and uh, this is the one that I'm using in the shade creamy beige and I'm going to top it off with a yellow concealer as well from the same brand again. So I've used an orange corrector, a concealer and then a yellow corrector. And then back to blending. Blend, blend, blend until you're satisfied. A blend, it has to look seamless, it has to look glowy, natural, it has to blend into your foundation. It's always good to bounce your brush on your face instead of like swiping it across so that when you bounce, you're going to get that seamless coverage, plus, you're not going to move the product. So, that's the best way to kind of you know work on with your foundation with your concealer that's how you have to go even with your powder it's the same you have to just like tap 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 if you are looking for a contour palette then either invest in uh, the contour palette from uh, anastasia beverly hills or uh, the shade and light palette from kat von d these are two of my favorite favorite contour palettes i like to use the banana shade under my eyes on the bridge of my nose and towards my forehead so wherever I've highlighted with the yellow concealer, that's where I like to, you know, use the banana powder. And uh, on the sides of my face, like right beneath my contour, I like to use the shade Vanilla from the same palette. And uh, this actually does it all. You do not have to go overboard with your contouring techniques or your highlighting techniques. Do minimal, keep it minimal. And now I'm going to move on to my favorite, favorite powder and uh, this is actually my second or third one again this is the max studio fix and uh, this is in the shade nc41 i've had this bronzer forever and it was lying somewhere and i never bothered to use this one but since i've started using this one i cannot keep it down this is the elf bronzer and i'll probably link or uh, you know mention the shade name down below in the description box you must must have this bronzer if you are my skin tone it's so beautiful plus this brush with this bronzer is amazing this is uh, the one from pac and i'll probably uh, let you know the brush number in the description as well And to further contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia's palette and I'm going to use the shades Fawn and Java. I'm just mixing these up and uh, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of using it on the contours, on the usuals, contouring my nose and trying to get those high cheekbones and all of those good things. By the way, this brush you guys is my favorite. I've been using this non-stop and especially to contour my nose. Plus, I love using this brush whenever I cream contour. Now, I'm going to use the shade Sand. It's like a very natural highlight from the same palette again. And uh, this is something that I've been using quite a lot again. And uh, 
especially whenever you want that natural within glow then go for this highlight i've quickly done my brows using the anastasia's brow pomade in dark brown and now moving on to eyes i'm going to use my favorite chocolate bar palette i've been using this non-stop again i know i keep saying i keep saying non-stop 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 but yeah i've been using this quite a lot lately so i'm going to use all those transition shades from this palette and uh, just going to run that on the crease a little lower in the crease on the outer third of the crease so just doing the usual using that in the outer v you can see what i'm doing And then I'm just going to take all those transition shades, mix them together and then blend it on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And now that you can get Huda Beauty products in India quite easily from Nykaa.com, please go ahead and just get these man. It, these are amazing. I love the textured eyeshadows. From this palette so i'm going to use the shade angelic and then the other shade that i've shown you just that i wanted some more color some more depth there so i use that one and then moonlight as my highlighter like i'm going to use it all over there is something about these uh, finishing sprays uh, there is the primer spray and the finishing spray there's something really really good about this spray i don't know what but i enjoy using this one i you know try to use the pack one some other finishing mist that i have but i tend to go back to the scandinavia ones these are so so good and then going back to my mascara and mascaras you know i am a creep for mascaras like i have so many of these as of now i'm using the Too Faced Better Than 6 Mascara. So I use quite a lot of Too Faced products. I think uh, that's like on my mind right now. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. A blush palette in light. And just dusting that across my cheeks. I'm going to give you two lip options. And the first one is Sugar Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick in Rethink Pink. And this is in number 7. If you are a bright person, you like you know bright colors you want to go all out then you can go for this color if you are somebody like me you wanted to keep it muted then the next lip option is for you i'm using this lip liner from colourpop and it's in the shade skimpy and uh, then i'm going to use the nika matelicious lip crayon in next level nude this is also by far a favorite shade i keep going back to the shade this is such a beautiful everyday muted color and if you want to wear this on its own it's so beautiful as well but i just wanted to mute it down a little bit a tad bit here and there so i did mix it with that lip liner now i'm going to use the glow kit from anastasia's beverly hills uh, palette uh, this shade from the glow kit uh, called sunburst is my favorite to use it on my body especially those shoulder bones and you know collar bones i love using it across and you know getting that a uh, glow just glow like a goddess man so yeah that wraps this look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this one and yeah guys don't forget to follow me on instagram bye take care